Good morning and welcome to our devotion as we begin our Monday. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise. And with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips. And my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You consider Romans chapter 15, verse 4. For whatever was written in former days was written for our instruction, that through endurance and through the encouragement of the scriptures, we might have hope. Without the Old Testament, we would know nothing about the beginning and end of the world and ourselves. It reveals to us how God called the world into existence out of nothing, how he preserves and governs it, how man was created good and in the image of God, how man was tempted by the devil and fell into sin and death, and how from the very beginning a redeemer was promised. What foundation does the New Testament have without Old Testament revelations? The New Testament is nothing but an announcement that the promises of the Old Testament have been fulfilled. Without the Old Testament, we would not be sure that Jesus is the Savior of the world, whose coming was promised beforehand. There we learn that he would be descended from Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Judah, and David. We learn when and where he would appear, the works he would do, and the teachings of the prophets about him. We learn that he would be the seed of the woman, the son of the virgin, and the Lord of righteousness. Without the Old Testament, the New Testament will be a building without a foundation, a tree without roots, a doctrine without evidence. Thus, when the New Testament teaches us about Christ's person, his work, and his doctrine, we can readily prove this from the books of Moses, the Psalms, and the prophets, which say, It is written, or have you not read? The holy apostles and evangelists offer proofs of Christ's divinity from the Old Testament when they report that this was to fulfill, and as the Holy Ghost has spoken. The Bereans are highly praised in Scripture because they received the preaching of Paul and Silas with all eagerness, but they were also examining the Scriptures daily to see if these things were so. Who can doubt that the Old Testament remains of the greatest relevance for New Testament Christians. But, someone might interject, aren't there accounts in the Old Testament history of completely horrible sins, reports of wars and slaughters, and extremely detailed descriptions of ceremonies, equipment, clothing, buildings, and sayings that are often hard to understand? How can any of this have been written for us Christians for doctrine? The terrible sins described in the Old Testament are not reported just as history, but as an earnest warning that God is greatly angered by sin and punishes it unto the children's children. But it also reports that God forgives these sins when people truly repent of them and bring forth the honest fruits of faith. The history of these sins is given to us for our instruction and correction, so we can recognize how great the corruption of fallen man is and how we must pray and fight against it. As St. Paul tells us, following a report of serious sins and the resulting divine judgments from the Old Testament, he says they were written down for our instruction on whom the end of the ages has come. The accounts of devastating wars and bloody killings are also loud witnesses of mankind's wickedness and God's divine wrath and judgment. The detailed descriptions of ceremonies, clothing, and buildings are types of the spiritual things of the New Testament, and they offer us comfort in that our Christian freedom delivers us from these heavy burdens of the law. The darkness of Old Testament speech should move us to reflect that what was hidden to the faithful at the time those books were written has now been revealed in the writings of the New Testament. There can thus be no doubt Everything contained in the Old Testament scriptures remains essential reading for Christians everywhere. And so we pray. Preserve thy word, O Savior, to us this latter day, 
and let thy kingdom flourish. Enlarge thy church, we pray. Oh, keep our faith from failing. Keep hope's bright star aglow. Let not from thy word turn us while wandering here below. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, merciful Father, who created and completed all things, on this day when the work of our calling begins anew, we implore you to create its beginning, direct its continuance, and bless its end, that our doings may be preserved from sin, our life sanctified, and our work this day be well-pleasing to you, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And we pray together. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you all for joining us this morning. The Lord be with you until we meet again.